No, I think he convinced me I needed to play again. How do you do that? Um, he called me from Turkey, and I figured that had to be an expensive phone call, so. <laughs> I haven't gotten a bill yet on that. But, but he said you helped talk him into it. That's an AT&T. <laughs> <laughs> and it went right through. Yeah. Cowboys owner Jerry Jones, always the pitch man. Yeah, he called Rolando McLean from Turkey to recruit him to come play with the Cowboys. It's in spite of McLean's baggage. More on the uh, new Cowboys linebacker coming up in a moment. First, though, the first official day with pads, anyway, a practice here in Oxnard. And that meant, of course, the opening ceremonies. Lots of pomp and circumstance. They don't call it Foxnard here. They actually call it Oxnard. Jerry calls it Oxnard. Entering the final year of their agreement with this facility and the new Frisco Cowboys headquarters being built. Who knows how many more years they'll come out here. But Jerry uh, tried to fire up the crowd a little bit today with some inspirational words. Meantime, for the first time during this camp, yeah, we heard some pads pop. And the third practice is the first time the league allows the pads to be worn. And the Cowboys wore them today. And some tempers were flaring. Look at Mo Claiborne and Terrence Williams, teammates going at one another. Des Bryant was working some of his magic today. Tony Romo back after sitting out yesterday's practice. Des with a couple of great catches here today. But one of the big storylines was that Claiborne Williams feud and how that played out. I just got a little bit competitive. Uh, you know, um, he didn't like the way I was touching him. And, you know, I don't know what else I supposed to have done. Just let him run his route. Like sometimes, um, if it goes a tad bit overboard um, to where I feel like I'm about to get hurt, then I just got to just tell him just to lighten up a tad bit. I mean, it gets like that sometimes out here. You know, um, you know, we, we, we still teammates. We still buddies. You know, it, it's going to be like that. It's a physical game. When you've got a competitive situation, especially competitive with pads on, I think you're going to get that. These guys, uh, uh, it, it brings a level of competition, a level of enthusiasm out that, uh, uh, you know, you have another elevation. As I mentioned, linebacker Rolando McLean is now in camp one day after being convicted in Alabama of disorderly conduct and resisting arrest after an incident in a park last year. He's appealing the conviction in the 18-day jail sentence, so now he can practice. He's been arrested three times in the last three years. So what has really changed? I just had a lot of outside distraction. And if you can't be 100% into your job, you're not going to be the best at it. Um, plain and simple. So my thing, I had to get eliminate those distractions. Um, I understand football is my job, my livelihood. When you're away from the game, you realize how much you miss it. So now you take advantage of the opportunity you're given and do the best you can do. Tomorrow night on Sports Sunday, more from Jason Witten. Dare we say future Hall of Famer, Jason Witten? I saw my jersey in there for the most catches in a season. And it, it, it kind of entered my mind of, man, this is cool to have your jersey here, but how awesome would it be to be a member of the Hall of Fame? One-on-one -on -one with the perennial Cowboys Pro Bowler. That's tomorrow night at 10 here from training camp in Oxnard, California. I'm Mike Ducey, Fox 4 Sports.